Welcome. The Jewish people are called Kol, everything, because Kol is 20 for the Chaf, 30 for the Lamed, you have 50 in the word Kol in Hebrew, which is, refers to the Nun Share Bina, the 50 gates of understanding. When our understanding, when our mindset is something that has a gateway opening up so that it could come out, shine to the heart and reveal its, de its depths. This is a type of channeling and a connection called Yichud in Kabbalah. Yichud, um, which is embodied by the, the chuppah and the privacy that is granted the, the groom and kala, the bride and the groom, is to represent the ability to absorb there is a time where one is not a vessel yet. So you have the, the call, the everything becomes a kli, welcome. When you have wisdom, the yud represents wisdom. When you have the channeling from a source of the wellsprings, the wisdom, then it produces what the Arizal calls v'avid naichala. And what's done is good for her. She, it's a pleasant experience. So the promise to the soul is that eventually it will be sustained by the Creator without exertion. It's going to be naichala, restful and natural. That's called seveya, satisfaction. You can get some satisfaction, Mick Jagger, and the rest of us. How deal? Um, so, King David says, in Tefillah we say this in Ashrei all the time, twice in Shachris, Everyone's eyes, kol, ene kol, elachi yisaberu, everyone's eyes um, look up to you, we're crushed and we look up to you as the, uh, look at the way my puppy looks at me. And you'll know, especially when there's a good, a juicy bone around. So the eyes of, of the kol, the Jewish souls, look up to Hashem. Ve'ato, and you, which here we're going to learn refers to Chochmah. <clears throat> and the Vav, Ve'ato, and, and you, referring to the Yud becoming a Vav. It's drawn down, the wisdom is drawn down. So you have the Vav and the He represented by Malchus, as we'll see. The Aten, you, Nason Lamas Ochlam Beita, you give, thank you, welcome. You give their food in its time. You get your food in its time, when it's due. Thank you, that's a lot of fireworks. You get, it's like with inflation and everything and shortages, Chas V'Shalom. It's, you could appreciate what it means to get your food and your time. <laughs> if you're sitting at a restaurant for a long time <clears throat> and the service is slow, you appreciate that you look up to Hashem as the source of the, the giving. So here we're saying that there is an itai, there's an ace. There's a time, an ace ratzain, a propitious time where the ratzain, a time where will is more accessible. Shabbos and Yom Tov is the, typically the time for it, but there's a sabbatical in us every day. Shabbos is meant to bless the entire week. So that becomes the proof for this idea that there's going to be an experience that's not dependent on anything to do with exertion. Thank you. It's going to be a complete welcome. Rachel, I suppose, or Rachel, that God is going to shine back upon the soul in a way that has nothing to do with its effort. But it depends upon us to make ourselves a vessel for that, so that the kol, the everything, the potential for the nun sharibina to open up our mind to our heart, becomes a kli that can absorb, or it's taken the time to absorb, but making oneself 
capable of absorbing something a little bit more deep than TikTok or whatever, or unless you have very cool guitar um, stream in your TikTok, which uh, I don't go to TikTok, but uh, I have a um, wellspring in Instagram and I'm there. And so I'm starting to develop a stream there and I have some really good guitar classes. <laughs> Very useful things you can get. <clears throat> so it's important to identify what, what attracts us and find what the, the purpose of that is. It's supposed to play in our life. So to the Torah teaches us all of that. So basically what I'm saying now is a continuation of yesterday's. And so there, therefore a lot of this should be familiar. I want to learn a little bit inside with you. We related it to tefillah, the ability for prayer to be the, the venue for pursuing the ability to absorb. So you're trying to make a vessel of yourself. In, in tefillah, in prayer, that's when that happens. You open yourself up to the gates of understanding should be open to you. The nun shari bina that exists within your heart. According to the uh, dimyan means imagination. Kifi dimyan, or as this idea is likened, that's what it means rather, to the ability for the female to absorb the masculine. That's when a woman is called married. So here we're talking about the soul. Sometimes it's called kol, and sometimes it's called kala. Add a hay, the ability to absorb, like the hand is made up of five fingers because it become a, becomes a vessel. Malchus is this vessel. And the, interestingly, the Rebbe said, our generation is the generation of Malchus, the final, the seventh. So it becomes a kala because now it bec it's married. The soul is married and experiencing. Bonjour, Rav, to you too. So this is called Kletas Hanukva Tipas Dachar. There's something masculine. It's in spiritual terms, it's about the giving of our creator to the soul. Okay? But you have to be able to, uh, to withstand infinity. If you, you can't handle the truth of infinity. So we prepare for thousands of years our soul. And it be, eventually it's, it's promised to be married. It's not just a betrothal, like the giving of the Torah at Mount Sinai. It was a betrothal period. You're meant to experience the Torah, not learn the Torah. <laughs> just learn. Learning becomes an experience. When the heart is opened up to the mind, that's when you have the bride. We'll see that the dachar, the masculine, contrib contributes wisdom. Wisdom is the masculine in intelligence, whereas Bina is the feminine intelligence, understanding. So the Nun Shari Bina is understanding. So we have to use meditation, which is beaten. The Hispainanus is the same word as Bina. To pursue understanding something is to allow it to be intellectually experienced and then open up to the heart. So after the infinite light of Hashem is absorbed, so what you could come to understand of God in your mind becomes expressed in the heart. This is just a little bit of review. In a state of unity and a relation. But the betrothed is not so. Because the, it's a younger part of the soul's journey when it's like a betrothed, not yet able to absorb. Azai nikra arusa, v'nikra kol, that's the everything, the potential for everything when it grows up and becomes a kala. Bezeu neida basharim baila, that's why we say that her husband is known in the gateways, perish neida lashen yichu v'zivu, because neida, which is from the word da'as, to know, is to Unite. As it says, Yada He knew his wife. 
And that's why it says, you shall know today and place upon your heart. So knowing is something that is placed upon the heart. The ability to experience and be present is meant to be um, expressed emotionally as well as just an idea. As not just an idea. So the ability to become a kli, uh, to become a vessel from the kol to the kli is the chupa, the transcendent, the, the canopy. The canopy that embraces both polarities, masculine and feminine, come together under a chupa. The fi shibachinas ha hu er makif, referring to God's transcendent light. So in other words, light is something that shows on its source. And God has an aspect that transcends his creation. That's called makif. Shalamayla shemeir al chasamakala. You take that type of unity to join these two polarities of group, group, not the broom. <laughs> probably he gets a broom when the groom gets his kala. He probably gets a, a free broom with the deal. The masculine polarity is more about giving than just like, like, getting sweeping up at the end of the performance. I could argue the other way too. We learned that um, Yasef gave even the crumbs that are wasted from the children of each family, all of the twelve, the eleven other tribes that uh, benefited from his giving. Yasef is called Kol. He's called. Tzadik is Sayyid Aylam, the kol is the everything, it's where you, everything is taken into the Yisayid, the ability to communicate everything from the masculine polarity to the feminine. But you have to be a vessel for that. So you have to be a kli. The kol, the everything, needs the yud to be absorbed. So to be a kala, to have the hay, the, the hand, the, that becomes a vessel, is the bride, is the bride's ability to experience what's beyond. So, which means to unite, which is the supernal will, which transcends or surrounds the heart. This transcendent impossible light of infinity that makes the rules becomes the interface that the light, the infinite light of Hashem could be absorbed in the soul. You could probably learn Hebrew from me um, if I say it slowly. <laughs> so this inf infinite, impossible light, that's the way it is absorbed in the person, the soul. And as the person exists, as a, as a soul of the Jewish people. There's still a force that transcends that called the, the canopy. On every um, honor, there is a chupa, there's a canopy. So on the kol, the, the honor of the kol, of the everything, of the, the nun sharibina, which are descriptive of the Jewish heart, the ability to have 50 pathways, the 50th being a gift, we'll see. But there's a chupa that that's the power, this transcendent force that the canopy to allow the embrace of these polarities. That's when the Jew is described as a bride im Hashem with God. It's Psalms 145.14 The eyes of everything of all, look upon you. Perish kaidem shenikras kala. That's referring to the Jewish soul before it's called a bride. Hainu kaidem hakleita. That means prior to the time where it's absorbed. It seems to equate the idea of making a vessel to the ability for that vessel to absorb. They seem to be synonymous, and there's so there's like. But there's a definite uh, time 
called here, kaida makleta, before it's absorbed. Vaznikra ene kol elacha yisabera. That's when it says that the eyes of kol look up to you, of every of everyone looks up to you. Lebchinas chuka, looking up to Hashem represents the desire merachai from a distance. The soul stands at a distance from its creator and wants to get closer to it, to the creator. Kamei arusa laaris, like the betrothed to the betrothed. <laughs> But after they enter the canopy, Azman then it's a time of unity and coming together. To receive this light in the way of a bride. And then she's called married, the soul. And that's why we say, and you give them their food. Hainu Lashen Zivug, the food refers to this connection. Kamoi Basi Lagani Achaisi Kala Achalti. The whole story of Song of Songs is this dining in, in the courtyard, in the garden. I ate my honey with mirth or something, or dew or something like that. Achalti Dibshi in Yari Im Dibshi, those are the words. My mirth with, uh, with, my, with my honey. So there it says to eat. It's this, it's a dining in the garden, descriptive of unity, or some type of euphemism for that. Hainu hashpas er which refers to the transference of supernal light, hiskaba balik light, to be absorbed and, and contained and absorbed. Bibchinas Malchus in the Malchus, the hay. Shinikra Lev, which is called a heart. I should underline that. Malchus is called a heart. Vaaz Nikra Kala, and that's when the heart is engaged, that's called bride. So the heart absorbs the 50 um, gateways of understanding. Libabtani Achaisi Kala, as it says, my heart, my sister, my. Bride. And this is called the drawing of the masculine waters. B'shem Ochlam. It uses the term of eating. As it said about Joseph, that he was granted access to everything that his master possessed except the bread that he ate, meaning his wife. So he knew that he was forbidden his wife and Therefore, the whole story unravels. But kamei achlo achlom no. But kamei achlo umachsa piha umasha le amar beitam kamei achlom rak beitay bevav kail eis ratzin neelyin al atzlus amatzil. The reason it doesn't say in their time. It says so achlom in their food. It says beitay in its time. It should have been plural. I guess they all dine together at once. But here's that diversion from the... Lahem, okay, it's more on, and you give them, it's plural, in his time. Who's his time? That's talking about Hashem's time. So it's not like you have to wait for it so much as you have to be ready for it. For the atzmut the um, essence of the Creator, because this type of dissemination is not dependent on any initiative that's um, it, that stems from us. It's complete beyond any ability for you to reach through your own efforts. So the the infinite reward of the world to come is really what the epic um, status is of it. That it's not dependent on anything that a mortal could, could ever have done. It seems to be referring to the next verse. 
Pesach as Yidakel, open your hands and uh, satiate all with will. So the Be'ita is connected. The time is connected with God's will. So there is a time of God's will. Bill didn't even knew that. Ratzon El Yen Levad, Kamei B'Shabbos for the Yemitavim. And those are the special days of our calendar, like Shabbos and Yom Tov. Okay, basically we finished the column. We have one column left. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to have to wait on that because I got a early dealings. Um, thanks for tuning in. So Kol becomes a Kli and then becomes a Kala. It's like she gains five, she gives ten and gives back five. The ten, the Yud, the Chachma. She doesn't really get the Chachma until she's in the relationship though. So it's a bit difficult to understand this um, absorption process. It seems to be you absorb, 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 and then you catch it. Think about it. Have a great day.